Hey everybody, it's Taylor the Master Tech, and today's issue we are going to look at the HVAC control panel lights on a B5 or a B5.5 Passat. So it's a pretty common problem, and we're going to be dealing with just the manual uh, HVAC controls, just the ones with the knobs, not the push buttons, not the climatronic, but just the manual uh, climate controls. And we're going to be dealing with the uh, lighting for that unit. So uh, it's a pretty common issue. The light bulb burns out and nobody knows how to get to it. So I'm going to show you really quick. It's a, a couple of tricks I've learned just over the years of me doing this on how we replace this bulb and how easy it really is. So stay tuned. Okay, this is my unit here and I'm going to turn on the lights. And you can see I have lights everywhere except for right here. So a lot of people want to go ahead and start digging out the radio and start taking out these knobs and, and panel buttons and everything else but um, Volkswagen actually did something pretty cool here and where they put the bulb the bulb is right behind here so the first thing that we're gonna have to do is get this knob off it's pretty easy just get you a pair of pliers and a, maybe put like a rag or a paper towel here and you'll just pull this out uh, you really can't do it with your fingers unless you're super strong but if you grab some pliers and yank this out it's real easy so I'm gonna go ahead and do that okay so I have the knob out of the way and you can see down here in this hole where the bulb is okay but the problem is is we can't it's really hard to get down there with anything unless you got a little tiny pair of pliers or something like that so what we normally used to do is we would take a piece of vacuum hose vacuum hose has the hole in it here just gets you a small piece if you got a piece laying around and I'll show you how we used to do this. We used to put this over the bulb and pull out and there's the bulb. So that's how we would take the bulb out. Now insulation is the same what you're going to do. Now I'll show you these bulbs, the part number. It's a uh, 2721LL, doesn't have to be LL. Uh, from Sylvania. I got these at AutoZone. They weren't much. Uh, I mean a couple of bucks and it came with two of them. But these are really the only place I've ever seen them being used. So we've got the new bulb and we're going to put it in the holder and I'll show you how to do that. Okay so I've, I've done tuck this back into the vacuum tube and what I want to do is I want to just it goes pretty much you know 12 to 6 the, the blade does and so I don't want to stick it in this tube real hard because then I'll when I go to pull it out it'll just pull out so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this in here Oop, fell out and there you go so you just want to kind of lay it in there with the with the tube and then you can push it in there with your finger and to test this real quick, we just want to turn this on. If that light comes on, then you know the repair is done. So after that, we will put this knob back on. Just remember what speed you had it on before you pull it off, and you can put it right back. And when we turn the lights on, boom, we've got our lights back on for our HVAC panel. Easy as that. So if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and like and subscribe the video. Again, I'm Taylor Bryant, Master Tech, signing off. See you next time.